Today we're talking about how to use data to be a better manager. Well, we've all heard the phrase, the numbers don't lie, the numbers tell a story, or you can't argue with the numbers. Okay, with the exception of manipulation and falsification of the numbers, which in most cases is illegal. So let's assume we have legal data, which is facts, figures, information that is stored, and in today's time, typically in a computer. So why is data important? Well, data helps to monitor and control, it helps tell a story, it provides trends, and also indicate variances. So how do we get this data? So we could get data through reports, research, or even polls. There are many other ways, but these, this is, these are a few. Then what are some aspects of the data that we get? Well, some data can be historical data, which is helpful to help us to project ahead for things that are similar. It also, uh, there's also real-time data, which helps us make decisions all along the way to maybe help change course or directions. But the data must be accurate and relevant. We've all heard garbage in is garbage out. So, how can this help a manager? So, well, managers are responsible for their team members and their work. So, they're striving to get better results. They're striving for happy and fulfilled teams, people with work-life balance, and so that they can learn, grow, and profit for their family. So, how does a man manager take this data and get this for his team and team members? So let's look at two aspects, the people and schedules, just to name a few. Well, if we're talking about people, we're talking about who, who do we have on the team and what are they doing? Do we have enough team members or do we have too many? Do we need more training? Do we need more skills? And in some cases, why are they leaving? When we look at schedules, we're looking at our, our team members, are they working too much? Maybe do we have some that are working too little? We can also ask, are they finishing their work or deliverables on time? And can we delay or expedite some of the projects or some of the things that they're working on? So these are some of the uh, aspects we can look at to help get these. And I think a success key to get the data, whether it's historical data or real-time data is to have a reliable tool. So if you need a tool that can help you with your data and be a better manager, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.